my cutie cues doing today? Mm -hmm. I miss you so much. Today we are having Popeyes, you guys. I have been craving Popeyes so much. I've been wanting it so bad. I just, I don't know. I think it's the chicken and the fries. You guys know I don't normally eat Popeyes, but I was craving it today. And can you guess who we are? We are the Bride of Frankenstein. I'm super excited about this look. It came out so good. You guys can do this look. It's so easy. I'm going to tell you guys all about this look and the character. A little bit about the character, just what I know about the character. Um, we have to drink a sweet tea. We have some chicken from Popeyes. We have some thighs, which are my favorite. Some drums, drums wings. We have the Cajun rice and we have some green beans here. I also have some hot sauce and I have some honey on the side. And I also have some french fries back here that you can't see. Mm. You guys, I'm so hungry. I'm ready to dig in. Mmm. Mmm. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Shout out to you. If you requested the Bride of Frankenstein, there was like at least 10 people that requested this that I saw. And it was such a good choice because I really enjoyed how it came out. Mmm. Oh, you guys, look at that. Y'all, I'm going to tear it up. I'm about to tear it up, you guys. Oh my God. <clears throat> mm. That is so satisfying. Oh my God. Mm. You guys, it just it just works so well together. It really does. That honey and that hot sauce works so well. Mm. It's like a tangy, a sweet, and I've tried the honey and hot sauce with other hot sauce brands. And the Tabasco is absolutely, positively the best to use with it. It really is. Oh my God. Woo, look at that. Look at that ooey gooeyness. Oh my God, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry and I'm eating. Mmm. Oh 
Oh my god. You guys. Excuse my mouth. You guys. Mmm. That don't make no sense. Y'all. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, you guys, I'm drinking out of a glass straw. I drink out of glass straws now, and I love it. I'm so glad I made that transition. It's just so much better. Okay. So, today, I am the bride of Frankenstein. Now, from what Scott has told me, because I was never a fan of uh, Frankenstein. You guys requested it. I don't even think I've ever seen the movie, but I'm going to watch it once I get done filming today. Um, so, from what I was told... By Scott, and correct me if I'm wrong. Frankenstein was created. Well, Frankenstein. Well, okay, Frankenstein is the man who created the monster that we know of as Frankenstein. Um, and he created this monster, but he was actually not. He was. He looked like a monster. He was scary, and. But he was actually a really nice guy, from what I was told by Scott. And, um, yeah, he was just created by some random man. I don't know, I think he was like a scientist or something like that. I don't know, you guys. Um, I think the man was a scientist or something. And he created Frankenstein. And then Frankenstein, um, later on in the movie, I think they made like a part two or something like that later on, um, his wife was created, but she was dead and then they brought her back to life. So, yeah, I don't really know much about the character that I don't really know that much about it, but like I said, I'm going to. I'm going to watch it when I get done. Because I've been so busy, you guys. Just getting these characters together. And I just haven't had time to actually watch it. I don't really have time to watch anything, really. But I'm very happy that I am busy. Being busy is very good. And, uh... I'm just such, I'm in such a great place. Doing these videos has really put me in such a great place. And it feels like, I mean, because I'm going to be honest, you guys, when you do YouTube, um, it just gets old. Like, you just feel, sometimes you can feel like you're not inspired, doing the same thing over and over again. And um, it feels so good just to be creative. Um, and I'm very happy about that. I'm very, it feels like the way I feel is like when you first start YouTube all over, when you're just first starting out on YouTube, you know, you're not getting paid, you're doing it for fun. Um, 
um and that's how i feel right now and so i'm very thankful for that and i'm thankful for you guys you guys are really receiving these characters and you're loving it And <clears throat> it just makes me so happy. We are on day 12, you guys. Day 12 of our 31 days to Halloween. Mmm. I'm so happy. I'm so inspired. So excited. And what makes filming even better is that it's fall and it's not hot, you guys, because I used to get, I used to hate filming in the summertime because it's just so hot and it's like nothing that I did would work mm. I don't really like drums you guys I'm gonna be honest I do not like drums oh I think that's a breast But I hope you guys are doing amazing. I am doing amazing as you can see. I'm in such a great place, you guys. Such a great place. So many amazing opportunities, you guys. And I'm just so thankful. Um, I'm so thankful. Oh, you guys, look at that. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Mm. Popeyes has some really good chicken. I've been sleeping on Popeyes for a minute. It's juicy. This is fresh. It's not dry at all. Mmm. So what y'all doing this weekend? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's so good. Like I don't even want to talk. Mm. But babe, yeah. man, Frankenstein so I mean I'm gonna watch it 
later on tonight. But can you tell us a little bit more about Frankenstein that you, from are what you know about? Are you, are you, are you recording? Yeah, are you I am. Recording? Yeah. Uh, he's a monster that was created by an inventor. Okay, so I said a scientist. So he wasn't an inventor. He wasn't a scientist. I mean, I guess he's a scientist. Yeah, it depends on like your interpretation. But he's somebody that, like, if you know Edward Scissorhands, he's like the guy that created Edward Scissorhands. That's okay. It. Lives up along, you know, crazy. Look at. So is the man who created Frankenstein that's crazy? Fra that's Frankenstein. Frankenstein oh. is the person who created the monster. So, so what's the monster's is, name? This is a monster. Mm. So but why do they say the Bride of Frankenstein? Because it just got associated. Frankenstein just got associated with the monster because it sounds like a monster's name. And who I am, she was a person who was alive. Yeah. No, and then she got no, brought no. back to life. Right? Yes. Because, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, but she rejected the monster. He so he was supposed to get married to her, and then when she seen him, yeah, kind of, she was like, uh, uh, he look a mess. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> he was rejected. So where I, I gotta watch. And he's it, just so. a silly, and he's just like. A, and he's sweet, right? He's not a, a he's not a bad person. Just, he's pretty. It's if you pretty much think the template of Edward Scissorhands, it's almost the same <clears throat> thing. It's this nice, sweet character, and they're innocent, they know nothing, and about, was he they know so, nothing about the world, the world hasn't done Because he was created. Yeah, he's created, so he, he's, uh, he's like a child, excuse me. he's like a child, everything is new to him, although he looks scary. Like an, it's like a son, he does actually look like he a science project. He looks like project. what's typically scary, yeah, he has a science project, more or less. Oh, wow. So there you guys have it, I wasn't able to really put that into words for you guys. Um... But it's not, is it a, it is a horror movie, right? Yeah, there's Frankenstein is the first one. Bride of Frankenstein is like the sequel. Oh. Um, it's pretty highly regarded. And. I've only seen it once for a long time. That's like an old school scary movie. Yeah, that's black and white. Yeah, back in the that's day. That's black and white stuff. That's a horror used to, that's what horror used to be. Horror used to be the monsters. And then it just evolved because the monsters got predictable. And then it got in, like psychological stuff mm -hmm. and slashers and stuff like that. Well, but, I just wanted to ask you that because I know you um, oh, that's a history. very big on movies and you know all about her. I don't know enough about her, but I do know the basics. Yeah, She's she, she's uh, his bride to be. The monster's bride to be. But it was not meant to be. You want to play check now? No, thank you. <coughs> you look great. Thank you, baby. I'm going to keep this costume on for you. You want me to keep it on? Can you not? Right now? <laughs> I love yeah. you. Yes, that'd be nice. I love you, too. Thank you. Yeah. So, there you have it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shinky? Shink? Baba Shinky? I'll be done in a minute. I know you want some chicken. I'm telling y'all, that cat or something else. Ryan. Let me try one of these. I normally don't eat these. Yeah. I don't know what it is about drums. I just don't like them. Mmm. That is so good, man. <clears throat> so 
so good. And it's so good because when you put that honey, when you put that honey on some hot chicken, the honey just melts and it's so good. Y'all, I'm not even going to attempt these biscuits. Uh-uh. No. Let's see if that just crumble right by here. Wow. Uh-uh. That don't make no sense. No, they didn't. Does anybody actually eat these biscuits? If you eat Popeye's biscuits, please let me know. The way those fried chicken sandwiches like blew out the door, they should definitely be working on their biscuits. Because everything else is good. Ooh. Mm. Good. All right, you guys. I don't know if I told you, but I wore the gloves because my nails are stained. But there we have it. Fried chicken from Pope a Popeye's fried chicken meal. Very delicious. I hope you guys are going to eat something delicious for dinner tonight. I love you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. Our bride of Frankenstein. I think she came out so good. She's so pretty. And um, um, definitely leave your comments down below. And I love you guys. And I'll see you next time.